So you want to know what are the best things to do in Peloponnese, Greece? Great, you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to discuss the top things to do in Peloponnese. Number 20, Corinth Canal. Start your exploration of Peloponnese with a visit to the Corinth Canal, an incredible feat of engineering that connects the Ionian and Aegean seas. As you stand on the 300-foot high cliffs, you'll get a stunning view of this three-mile-long canal. Watch as ships pass through the narrow 80-foot wide channel, an impressive sight that happens year-round. You can also catch a glimpse of the submersible bridges being lowered into the water to let boats through. If you're feeling adventurous, try bungee jumping from the bridge for an unforgettable thrill. Afterward, head to nearby Lutriki to unwind at a local bar or cafe where you can take in the views of the canal from a different perspective. Number 19, Pylos. Explore Pylos, a scenic coastal town in the Peloponnese known for its beautiful beaches and vibrant atmosphere. Start your day at Jalova Beach, where you can swim, sunbathe, or enjoy a meal at one of the beachfront cafes. After that, visit Voidokilia Beach for a unique experience. Its omega-shaped sands are perfect for sunbathing or a relaxing walk along the shore. If you love adventure, hike the dunes or take the trail to Old Navarino Castle for breathtaking views. Stroll through the town's charming square, enjoying local shops and eateries. You can also rent a kayak to explore the nearby coves or take a boat trip around Navarino Bay. Number 18, Methoni. Make your way to Methoni, a charming village in western Messenia. Start your visit by exploring the impressive Venetian castle built in the 13th century, which covers over 22 acres and offers breathtaking views. As you walk around the castle, look for viewpoints from both the sea and the land. You can relax on the sandy beach with crystal clear waters, perfect for swimming and sunbathing. Afterward, treat yourself to delicious traditional Greek dishes at charming seaside tavernas. You also join local events to experience the community spirit. Number 17, Koroni. Koroni, just 30 minutes from Methoni in the Peloponnese, is a charming village you'll love exploring. Start by visiting the impressive Venetian castle, where a few families still live. As you walk through, stop by the monastery of Timios Prodromos and enjoy the peaceful gardens. Head down to Zaga Beach, a 20-minute walk from town, where you can relax on the golden sand and maybe even spot loggerhead turtles. For a delicious meal, take a short trip to Perulia Beach, just three miles away, where you can savor fresh seafood and unwind by the crystal clear waters. Number 16, Kalamata. Kalamata is the capital of Messenia, offering plenty to explore. Start at the bustling bi-weekly market for fresh produce and local delicacies. Visit the Archaeological Museum of Messenia to see ancient artifacts, then wander through the old city to admire the adorable Ayi Apostoli Church and the Metropolitan Panaya Ipapanti Church. For panoramic views, head to Kalamata Castle. Afterwards, stroll along Aristominus Street for shopping and dining. You can also explore the Railways Park, featuring vintage train exhibits. Finally, relax at the scenic beachfront, where you can swim and enjoy water sports. Number 15, Mount Tagadus. Hike up Mount Tagadus to experience its magnificent landscapes and diverse ecosystems. As you trek through Alagonia's forests on Tagadus' slopes, you can pass Nika's fountain and discover a charming waterfall. Explore Nadusa, where you'll find a giant plane tree big enough for 10 people to fit inside. You'll enjoy wandering the streets of Artemisia, a picturesque village at Tegetus' foothills, where historical sites like the Monastery of St. John await your exploration. For an unforgettable challenge, hike to the summit, Prophetis Elias, at 7,900 feet, and soak in breathtaking views. You can also take part in mountain biking, trekking, and climbing on various trails. Number 14. Kitris. Include a visit to Kitris as part of your Peloponnese adventure. This peaceful coastal village is known for its intimate charm, particularly during Easter. On Good Friday, join locals in a moving candle-lit procession from the hilltop church down to the sea, where an offering is placed on a boat and lit, a magical sight by the water. For a relaxing day, head to the pebbly beach, surrounded by lush green hills, where you can swim in clear waters. The village also boasts several waterfront tavernas, offering fresh seafood and local dishes 
with stunning sea views. Nearby, you can explore Sandava Beach, just two miles away, known for its vibrant beach bars. Number 13, Ancient Olympia. If you enjoy ancient history, Ancient Olympia is the perfect destination. You'll walk among the remains of the Temple of Zeus, explore the ancient stadium where the Olympic Games began, and visit the archaeological museum to see statues like the iconic Hermes by Praxiteles. Beyond the ruins, the surrounding area offers scenic hiking by the Alfeos River and refreshing swims at the Neda Waterfalls. For a relaxing break, head to the Caiaphas Hot Springs, surrounded by a lush forest. If you want to explore further, take a short trip to Cato Samakos Beach or the Temple of Apollo Epicurus, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 12. Monemvasia. Often referred to as the Gibraltar of the East, Monemvasia is a captivating medieval town located on a rocky island connected to the Peloponnese Peninsula by a narrow causeway. As you stroll through the charming cobbled streets, you'll discover Byzantine churches and a majestic fortress offering breathtaking views of the Aegean Sea. Climb to Anno Poli, the upper town, to visit the stunning church of Hagia Sophia, or follow the East Gate to the lighthouse for panoramic vistas. Don't miss the chance to sample local Monemvasia wine at traditional tavernas and browse unique boutiques throughout the village. Number 11, Nafplio. Nafplio is one of the vibrant seaside towns you shouldn't miss during your visit to the Peloponnese. As you stroll through its picturesque alleys, you'll find charming shops and cozy cafes waiting to be explored. Make your way to Palamede Fortress, where you can climb to incredible views and discover its eight bastions. Just a short distance away, Bortsy Castle stands guard at the port entrance, offering a glimpse into the area's rich history. For relaxation, head to Arvanitia Beach, where you can unwind or take part in water sports like kayaking and jet skiing. Finally, don't forget to learn more about the town's history at the Archaeological Museum and explore the elegant architecture of the old town. By the way, check the links in the description for the ultimate guide on saving money while traveling, plus recommended tour operators in Peloponnese. Number 10. Cardamili. Cardamili is another pretty village in the Peloponnese worth visiting. You can wander through its charming streets lined with old stone houses and enjoy breathtaking views of the sea and Taigetus Mountains. Explore the old town to discover medieval castle ruins and the Byzantine church of St. Spiridon. You can relax at Aquarella Cafe, sipping a drink while watching the sunset over the crystal clear waters. For hiking enthusiasts, scenic trails abound, leading you to Kalamitzi, where you can discover the home of writer Sir Patrick Lee Fermor. Number nine, Limeni. Located in the south of Mani, a tiny spot in the Peloponnese, Limeni offers a unique experience. You can stroll through charming cobbled streets and admire traditional stone towers, including the notable Tower of Petro Bay Mavromichali. The nearby waters are perfect for swimming, where you might catch a glimpse of sea turtles. Visit the chapels of St. Sostis and St. Nikolaos and explore the scenic remains of the monastery of Panaya Vreti. Afterward, treat yourself to ice cream at Koroni and enjoy fresh seafood at Otakis or Tamagazaki Tisthodorus. For a magical experience, walk down to the village at sunset for lovely views of the coastline. Number eight, Areopoli. Known as the birthplace of the Greek War of Independence, Areopoli has a lot to offer anyone visiting. You can wander through its picturesque stone-paved streets, discovering charming old chapels decorated with beautiful frescoes along the way. Make sure to visit the Square of the Immortals, where a statue honors Petrobis Mavromichalis, a local hero of the revolution. You can also visit the Picolacus Tower Museum to see its Byzantine artifacts and stunning architecture. On Saturdays, the lively street market invites you to sample fresh olives and shop for local goods. As you explore, admire the traditional stone houses and savor a meal at one of the delightful tavernas. Number seven, Gero Limenas. Gero Limenas is a quaint village at the southern end of the Mani Peninsula, part of the Peloponnese region. It was once remote, only reachable by boat until the 1970s. The village features charming stone buildings, fishing boats, and clear waters crashing against large rocks, making it a lovely stop. 
You can swim in the sheltered pebble beach or stroll through the village to discover spots between the stone buildings that offer views of the water. As the last place with significant stores before heading further south, it's a perfect spot to stock up on supplies. For more adventure, consider renting a kayak to explore the stunning coastline. Number six, Vatia. Vatia is famous for its striking stone tower houses that rise dramatically from the hillside. This village showcases unique architecture developed in the 18th and 19th centuries, reflecting its historical significance. You can explore the narrow, winding streets and capture unique photos of the beautifully restored houses. The surrounding hills are covered with vibrant wildflowers in spring and summer, perfect for a leisurely hike. As you wander, enjoy the sense of solitude in this unique setting. You can also drive around the village to admire the views from different angles and stop at local restaurants for authentic Greek cuisine. Number five, Menelon Trail. Consider exploring the Menelon Trail if you're a hiking lover. This famous trail spans 45 miles and features eight routes of varying lengths and difficulties, allowing you to choose hikes between three to nine miles. The scenic paths take you through the stunning Lucios Gorge, Mount Menelon, and the Mylaon River Valley. Along the eight miles hike from Stemnitsa to Dimitsana, you'll encounter two monasteries where you can appreciate their architecture and serene surroundings while learning about their history. After your hike, enjoy local hospitality at nearby guest houses and taverns where you can savor traditional Greek dishes and shop for unique local products. Number four, Epidaurus. Epidaurus is another exciting destination in Peloponnese. This UNESCO World Heritage Site, about 20 miles east of Naflio, is famous for its ancient theater, built in the 4th century BC. It accommodates 14,000 people and offers remarkable acoustics. You can hear a coin drop from the top. The theater still hosts plays during the annual Epidaurus Festival. You can also explore the sanctuary of Asclepius, the ancient stadium, and the archaeological museum, which displays ancient surgical tools and statues. Don't miss the ruins of the medieval castle in Nia Epidaurus and the beautiful churches like Aeos Nikolaios and the monastery of Taxiarchis. Number three, Mistras. Mistras is definitely among the top destinations you would enjoy while exploring the Peloponnese. This UNESCO World Heritage Site features awesome Byzantine churches like the Cathedral of Aios Dimitrios, where the last Byzantine emperor was crowned. Don't miss the Palace of the Despots, located on the highest point, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding area. You can also visit the archaeological museum to learn about Byzantine art. Hike to the Church of Aya Sophia, known for its impressive wall paintings, and the Church of Ai Theodoroi, with its unique octagonal dome. To fully explore the upper and lower towns, plan at least three hours, and remember to wear good hiking shoes for the trails. Number two, Mani Peninsula. For a unique experience, explore the rugged Mani Peninsula. Start with a boat ride through Deiros Caves, where you'll glide past amazing stalactites in an underground world. At Cape Tanaro, stand at the southernmost point of mainland Europe, where myths say the entrance to the underworld lies. As you explore, you'll find old fortified tower houses that once protected the locals against clan wars, offering a glimpse into the region's history. You can also hike through Viros Gorge for sweeping coastal and mountain views. Afterward, take a stroll through Mani's traditional villages with their quiet streets and stone homes and discover Byzantine churches decorated with colorful frescoes. Number one, coastal villages. Take a day trip to the beautiful coastal villages between Cardamili and Areopoli. Start at Stupa Beach, where you can stroll along the sandy shore and dive into the refreshing waters. After soaking up the sun, head to Ayos Nikolaos, just a 10-minute drive away or a scenic hour-long walk along the coastline. This charming fishing village offers delightful cafes and restaurants with ocean views, perfect for indulging in fresh seafood. Continue your adventure to Trahila, a peaceful spot where you can unwind and enjoy the serene surroundings. Click here to watch this video.